That was my argument. Um, I would like to begin by thanking the organizers for arranging this event. Um, um, so Kashmir is my birthland, my home, and it's very dear to me. As part of the diaspora, I have a responsibility to duly represent my people and ensure that the truth is always brought to the surface. After Kashmir's autonomous status was stripped off by the Indian government, excruciating leaks followed. Um, the night before, on a FaceTime call with my extended family there, my cousin warned us that if they no longer answer calls the next day, it is because they, the Indian government has taken the internet down or communication lockdown has been imposed yet again. Um, days of the communications lockdown turned into weeks and soon those weeks turned into months. Horrifying stories emerged from the valley under siege. Disappearances, deaths, restrictions far worse than our expectations were imposed and are still enforced to this day. Children have lost their academic calendars and businesses have been terribly affected. Very little of the detail, the human density, the passion of Kashmiri life has entered the awareness of even those people whose profession it is to report the situation there. Our own journalists have been barred from reporting the situation in the valley and forced into manual labour. Likewise, international activists, lawyers and journalists who speak against the Indian occupation in Kashmir risk the chance of being arrested or even banned from entering the country. What we have now is a series of crude, essentialized characters of life on ground, presented in such a way to make the world vulnerable and desensitized to the Indian occupation and, and aggression in Kashmir. No one explains the depth of the disorientation or realizes the one-dimensional mindset of professional liberals and journalists, as well as the outright self-interest that plays a part in misleading the political left while the right is clearly disoriented. I hope that this discussion featuring a set of excellent Kashmiri academics who examine the depth of the conflict can offer you an honest insight into the reason as to why we Kashmiris ask for freedom and what it means to us. Thank you.